The teachings of Jesus are creative, beautiful, wise, hopeful, and lovely. Welcome to Difficult Teachings. What is it in your life that needs to be resurrected this Easter? Perhaps it's a relationship, maybe it's your personal finances, perhaps it's your health, or maybe it's your career or spirituality. Whatever part of you or your life that needs to be resurrected today, I pray that you start to be blinded by the light as the stone slowly begins to roll away from the entrance to the tomb. What are the most important events in history? We've spent the past several days reflecting on them and reliving them. The whole world changed on Easter Sunday. It was an earth-shattering, life-changing, historic event. To reflect on it should inspire awe in all of us. Rising from the dead is the ultimate proof that Jesus is God and is also the central premise of Christianity. This is the main event. Without the resurrection, Christianity is foolishness, Paul tells us in Corinthians. Did the resurrection of Jesus actually happen? Though there is plenty of evidence to suggest that it did to those who have an open and honest heart, I cannot prove it. There has to be room for faith. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called faith. It would be called certainty. And just as the opportunity to not love is essential to love, uncertainty is essential to faith. But if it did actually happen, if Jesus did actually rise from the dead, what else is left to be said? And what does Jesus have to do to convince you? Thomas made very specific demands. He wanted to be able to put his hands into Jesus' wounds. Now let's take a look at today's difficult teaching. Just three words, believe in me. It's from John's Gospel, chapter 12, verse 44. We place different levels of trust in different people. We believe certain people will do what they say they will do or are capable of various things. What is it that builds that trust? What is it that fosters that belief? If they are well-founded, they are based on knowing the person. Wherever you are in your faith journey, if you yearn for a deeper faith, a stronger faith, a more practical faith, a faith that keeps you focused on what matters most and gives you the grace and strength to let go of what matters least, spend more time getting to know Jesus. It's an interesting thing. Whenever I spend time in prayer, reading the scriptures, discussing the faith with people, socializing with people who believe, and studying the faith, my faith increases. Through all these experiences, I come to know Jesus more. And the more I know him, the more I believe in him. The only people who don't believe in Jesus are the people who don't know him. Knowing him makes it impossible not to believe in him. And so my Easter desire for you this year is that each day you will take the time to get to know him a little more. If you do, I am certain that something wonderful is about to happen. Happy Easter. May the resurrection of Jesus fill you with new life and may God bless you and all those you love this Easter. It has been an honor to make this journey with you through Lent, and I hope it has been your best Lent ever. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Have a great day. <laughs>